Well, the race to be the next Republican presidential candidate has shaken up. This after Rick Santorum swept all three states in last night's primaries. Now Mitt Romney's cozy spot as frontrunner isn't so certain anymore. Throughout the race, various candidates enjoyed their time in the limelight, only to be taken over by a new GOP flavor of the week. But one candidate's popularity has remained consistent, Ron Paul. And there are signs that he is gaining momentum, especially after coming in second in Minnesota, where he beat Romney and Gingrich. And take a look at this poll. According to the latest telephone polls coming out of front, coming out, front runner Mitt Romney lost some ground in recent days, dropping from 30 to 29 percent. Ron Paul is now in second place nationally. His support grew 5 percent, putting him at 21 percent. And rounding out the bunch, Newt Gingrich's support fell by 1 percent to 19 percent. And Rick Santorum's support rose by 5 to 18 percent. So, with support for the other candidates slipping, is it Ron Paul's time to shine? Well, to dig deeper into this, I spoke with volunteer organizer and Ron Paul supporter Mary Willison earlier from Los Angeles. I asked her if Mitt Romney is still the front runner. Take a look. No, we're really happy with how Ron Paul is steadily pulling forward, and we have a lot of faith in the strategy of his campaign and that. As he gains ground in each one of these uh, caucuses and moves into the primary states, we are gaining momentum. We're gaining more supporters, and uh, there's a strategy to it. So, you know, we're excited that he's not the flavor of the month. He's never had a, a bad um, race. You know, he's he's pulling forward. Um, and so now, Ron Paul, um, he has yet to win a caucus, but. Uh, as you just said, he seems to be the only one that is steadily on the upswing. He's got a very loyal following, um, while the others kind of come up and down. Um, so with Romney, the traditionally seen as the front runner, front runner losing speed, right, is, it, is right now uh, Ron Paul's time to shine? I think, I believe that it is Ron Paul's time to shine, but I'm perfectly happy with him uh, plugging away and just keep going towards uh, the Tampa Convention. So if I don't see, I mean, it would be wonderful to win one, you know, that would be really exciting right now, but as I understand it, in Minnesota, um, he pulled in more delegates, even in counties where Mitt Romney uh, or, Sant sorry, in the counties where Santorum was in first place, uh, Ron Paul got most of the delegates. So people showed up uh, and, and they're going forward in the, in the um, caucuses to um, vote for Ron Paul. And, you know, last night, um, obviously, a, a huge victory for Santorum after he won the, all three states. Um, so he's proving to be this more conservative alternative to Romney, who his critics call the Massachusetts moderate. So we are seeing this divide within the Republican Party. But Ron Paul's followers are the most passionate, most loyal. Um, so what does this divide within the party mean for Ron Paul's campaign? Um, I think that the votes that are going to uh, Santorum and Newt Gingrich currently are not uh, being taken from, they're not coming from Ron Paul's base. They're just dipping into Mitt Romney's uh, voter pool. And we already know that Newt Gingrich and Rick Santorum are not on the ballot in multiple states where they uh, were not able to collect enough signatures to get on the ballot. They didn't have enough of the foresight to um, plan their campaigns. And uh, in order to win with, I think it's 1,144 delegates, you know, they're not eligible for between five and six states, each of them. So, um, you know, a, a vote for Mitt, uh, sorry, Newt Gingrich and for Santorum is probably a, a wasted vote unless we're going to have a brokered convention, which, you know, I don't know about that, how it's going to pan out, but um, I'm sure that Ron Paul is gaining delegates um, as we go along. And, um, you know, the fact that he is gaining momentum and that he has made it this far is a huge improvement from the last time he was running for the last election. Um, so would you say that Ron Paul's image as a fringe candidate has changed? Absolutely. Absolutely. There is so much more support now. There's so much more awareness. I didn't know about Ron Paul in the last election. I was living overseas and I was, you know, excited about the hope and change that Obama was talking about and I don't really subscribe to uh, 
a you know party particularly per se I'm you know very much want to support the things that matter to me and what I think matter to the country as a whole I think that the political divide that we have this uh, is a you know Democrats and Republicans is a horse and pony show and I think that right now a lot of people are willing to cross the political divide and register themselves as a Republican you know in order to take part in this and that's what Ron Paul has um, a lot of people are joining the Republican Party because you know what if you can't beat them join them and get you know you have a lot more chance of making the change that you want to see in the world by taking part getting in there and and being active so I mean I do lean more conservatively I'm fiscally conservative um, you know I don't want wars though so on that side I'm very much different from the other GOP candidates um, I think that the whole uh, GOP is changing. We are the new um, voice, the new generation, and um, people, I encourage them, no matter if they're liberal, democratic, uh, libertarian, whatever, independent, to go ahead and, you know, be, make a difference. If you could, you know, do some research and become aware of Ron Paul's policies and ideas and um, the change that he's trying to make. I mean, he is the only one talking about um, restoring our currency or competing currencies, um, auditing the Fed, uh, these banks that have been bailed out. The money is vanishing. Uh, if you take MF Global, for example, you know, money is vaporizing, and I think that they're setting a stage for something like that to happen here, and nobody else is even talking about it. Ron Paul is the only one who is willing to shine a light into the dark corners of our political parties and these big corporations who are running the show, and people are awakening to it and deciding that they can take part and make the difference. So. And lastly, Mary, just want to ask you, um, Ron Paul, we, we see he is gaining some momentum. How can he continue to attract more voters? Um, we are seeing that he's winning some people over from, from the mainstream, um, and he does have his loyal base. Um, how can he continue to uh, take advantage of this leverage? Well, everyone who does some research and, and gets involved and understands the policies usually gets... Uh, profoundly moved by them and wants to be active in this and wants to make a difference. So I, I encourage everyone who, who does come along and decide to support Ron Paul to talk to your grandparents, talk to your neighbors, talk to your cousins and aunts and uncles, co-workers, everyone. You need to start raising the issues and, and have little political discussions. It doesn't always have to be a debate. You know, people like to call us called Paul bots because, you, you know, it's, this is such an important conversation to be having. We're talking about the future of our country and our impact on the world. So, you know, I, I encourage everybody to get registered as a Republican so that you have a choice when uh, it's time for, you know, the GOP ca primary candidate to go against Obama. You know, <laughs> people are trying to say the conservative or the anti-Romney. <laughs> Come on. They're all... They're <laughs> It's just, it's a joke to me. I can tell you are certainly a huge Paul fan, and thank you so much for going on the show, for coming on the show. That was volunteer organizer and Ron Paul supporter, Mary Wilson.